In this SOLIDWORKS tutorial, we'll learn how to model this part and we'll do a quick render using PhotoView 360 with a light version of model. The first thing we'll do is to start by modeling the base. So we'll use a few concentric circles sharing the same center and we'll do some trimming, some offset, some fillet. Then we'll extrude this up to here. Then we can draw the contour and uh, keep on going. So start SOLIDWORKS. I'll go Ctrl N for new part. I'll stay in inches and I'll pick the top view. So I'll sketch on the top plane and we'll start by using point. This is new and we haven't used this before. So this is at the center. You see it has a coincident relation, the green. So it means that I cannot move it unless I delete the green thing. And this one is freehand. We'll enter some dimension for those two. Those two should be 96 apart in the width, smart dimension, and type 96 inches. And that will give SOLIDWORKS a sense of scale. We can do the height from here. You drag to the right and it'll be 50. Then we can start generating the circle. I'll need two of them here and one here on that point. Smart dimension. The outside one will have a diameter of 53 inch and the inside one will be 35. So one is at 35 and the other one is at um, 53. And this one will have a radius of 48. Connect this with a line. We'll make sure it's tangent. So you go line and you don't grab it here. You just hover somewhere there or even here. You see, so it's trying to be tangent and you do the same here. So somewhere here. And if you see the two tangent sign is that it's tangent. If not, you grab one, shift click the other one and click tangent. But here it worked. We'll do the same here. So tangent to this to this one. But here there's a trick. We don't want it to go that way. We want it to end a bit earlier and delete this one. Now you can shorten it. Smart dimension and we'll go 50 inch. And it does it from here to there, but you see it's still tangent because of this. And here we'll grab this line. We'll make it also tangent. And we'll go pretty low. We just want to make sure to track it at the quadrant. The quadrant is here, like every uh, 45. And line. And we could make it touch or we could trim it. Uh, either way, it's, it's the same thing. We'll uh, do a center line here. As we need to do a cutout. Then we'll offset line on both sides. Offset entities. Click here. 5 inch on both sides. So make sure bidirectional is on. And uh, we want the original one to be center line, so base geometry. Then we'll draw a line here. The length of this line, we'll do the same here. And then we'll draw a line going from here to here. Make sure it's horizontal. L, L again for line, do the same here. Trim entities and click on what you don't want. So I want all of this block. I don't want this to delete this part. So we go trim again and just cut those part. This one. Finally this one, this one and this one. Fillet. Here we'll use five and we'll do another fillet here and we'll use 10. So now our sketch is ready. Now that we've drawn this, we can select it, extrude and use 10 for the height. Time to beef up this. Select the face, control eight. We'll start with a circle over here, 
to find the and yeah and make sure you snap to this do another one so circle again come here make sure you snap and then we'll use the line L and you can actually pass it because we'll trim L to stop L again to start same logic here L Well, here there's a fillet, but it's five. I can just recreate it, so I'll pass it. Voila. Uh, trim to remove what we don't need. Here. 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 And to recreate the fillet, it was five. And click here. then we can extrude this profile and I think it was 25 next we need to extract this outline so we sketched on this and we're going to use a new tool called convert entities it needs a plane or a face you need to be sketching on it so make sure you don't miss this step sketch and it's going to extract the outline here as a sketch so you click convert entities and you see now in black we have the outline control a to be facing normal to circle this is just to help us draw so we're going to make one at 32 but we'll get rid of it after and we'll recreate it down the road to make a hole but not now another circle to match the outer one well make sure you snap here line create a line from here to there trim first so let's remove what we don't want to keep this and we don't need this and we have to be careful because you see it erase this arc so we could recreate a circle or we could do an arc doesn't really matter uh, let's go with arc tangent I won't be tangent to here but tangent to there so now we can do the fillet extrude and it'll be 10 the depth you might have to click here to give him the profile and you see because we snap everything is matched perfectly next we'll draw on this face control 8 we'll draw a center line from this to the center of this one then we'll use the slot tool and we draw it here to there make sure add dimension is turned on here the length is 40 the, the width 10 and it's 37 inch from here to there 37 And then we'll go extrude cut through all. Now we need to repeat it. So we sketch on this face and we draw a center line to uh, give us a sense of direction. Exit the sketch, uh, this pattern, linear pattern. So direction is the center line and what we want to repeat is the cut extrude and we want to use 15 if you want to swap the direction is this arrow say ok and then do a second one same direction and use the, uh, the original cut extrude and flip it so if we change anything here parametrically it will update the other one finally here we can do our hole control 8 circle 32 extrude cut through all 
then we can add some fillet to a beef it up fillet and here we can use one then we'll need another one here larger so this I think I was using six was just touching here you could stop it a little bit before maybe it'll be a more pretty five the rest is more for rendering so it looks better uh, it bonds the light nicer I use chamfer it could be all of this maybe here is not happy we can try no it worked do another chamfer here get uh, yeah I think I just used that the edges and if you really want to make it look good you could do the bottom too so it cast a nicer shadow and uh, for rendering very simple if you've seen my other video I'll go fast uh, view modify rotate about scene floor it's on that's good perspective and here I was using a plastic soft touch and I think it was the red I just put this everywhere in the whole body for lighting I use the default three point beige let's do a, a final and voila 